Hey everyone, Andy Park here. It's that time again. Time for another unboxing. I just got this in the mail. Now let's go check this out. All right, here we go. You guys saw my, well, I hope you guys saw my Ant-Man unboxing right there. Now he's finally got his partner in crime the Wasp. I got my Wanda and Vision shirt on. I got my Hot Toys in the mail. I'm ready to go. I've been waiting for this for what feels like years. So let's open this up. All right, look at that. Shiny, just like the Ant-Man box. Very cool. All right, you've got credits from everyone from Hot Toys. Good job, everyone. I hope to meet you guys and gals one day and shake your hands. You guys do great work. And here we go. Here she is. Oh man. I will not damage this figure like I do with every single unboxing I do. I don't want that to be a theme. But if you guys have watched my unboxing videos, I know you guys are waiting for me to make some kind of mistake, scratch the figure, drop something, but no, I will not. Dude, how, do you, how are you supposed to take, oh, maybe you're supposed to take, take off this? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's how you take it off. And then, and then you can put it back. It's pretty amazing looking. Let's take this one off. Hand off. Hey, scary. Gauntlet back on. Hand back on. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Is that red or what? It's pretty red. It's pretty cool. Put this back, back on. Let's do it with the wings closed. So that's how you see it mainly in the movie. Let's try to put this on. Just push. Hey, I don't like pushing. I'm scared when it doesn't go in smoothly. Okay, I'm gonna just not put that in all the way because I want to put the Ah! <laughs> Not on purpose, folks. Okay, there. That one in easier. Not on purpose. But it fell on the soft table. I'm prepared. I should get cloth, like a rug or blanket whenever I do these boxing, box openings, unboxing videos. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Let's see, what should I take out next? So you got that. You got the backpack. Look, here's the backpack. Check this out. 
with the backpack on. Full turnaround. How close can I get to the camera for blurs? Very nice. Go to this camera. Very, very awesome. I'm very happy with this. As some of you might know, I, I designed this. <laughs> well, I did the concept design, um, the initial concept design that took some time and eventually got approved in Ant-Man and the Wasp. So I was the visual development supervisor on this film where I led a team of artists designing the characters, the villains that you see in the film. So I not only got to lead and art direct um, the other artists and work with the director and the producers, um, I also got to design Ant-Man and the Wasp for this film. So quite a pleasure. Two of my favorite designs I've done in the 10 plus years that I've worked at Marvel Studios. So being able to hold this in my hands, you know, not only watching it in the film and um, working with the costume designer and Louise Frogley and um, Ivo Coveney, the two costume makers, the ones who actually made the costume um, after they're looking at my concept art and going back and forth with them, um, giving them direction, um, them giving me notes and you know and then doing fittings with a uh, with evangeline and then with paul rudd and that one and then finally seeing it on them fully realized getting to watch them film and then the final piece of the puzzle is getting to hold this in my hands and see the hot toy and all the details because they're very intricate and very detailed um there's certain things that they didn't do exactly like the film which is kind of rare especially in the stomach area because there was, I forgot what they said, Ivo said there was about like, I don't know, there's hundreds of pieces, I forgot how many exactly, how many um, pieces that this one costume had. Um, I'll look it up. But, you know, it's kind of impossible to do every little raised piece and stuff like that. But, you know, they did a, they always do like pretty much what you see in the film. So I'm always blown away always impressed so very happy with that here's the Evangeline Lily face let's get that out Hope Van Dyne very nice I love the sculpted hair that Hot Toys has been doing lately. I prefer the sculpted hair over the real hair that they used to do. And I hope they continue to do this because I really prefer the sculpted hair over the real hair that you saw in a lot of the other like er earlier iterations of Black Widow and such. Um, comes with different hands. Here's the different hands. I won't go through all of them. And that's the one you've been waiting for, the wings. Let's get the wings out. Here we go. Ooh, oh my gosh. Whoa. How do you do this? Let's find out. Okay, let's take this off. Uh-oh. I'm not good at this. Oh God. Ugh. Okay, 
Got that off. So I think. Okay. Wait, is there a right side? I should know. Let me see. Which side is the front? I think they're the same. Okay, so it's, it's all just how it attaches. So this one goes here, I think. I should really read the instructions, but I'm not gonna let you sit there and wait for me. So here we go. Hey, I don't like trying to force things in. They don't slide in. Easily it scares me because I feel like I'm doing something wrong. But I think yeah. Oh okay it went in. Scary. Wow, those wings look great. Those wings look amazing. Just man. Cause that's one thing that you'll you'll never see in the movie because anytime the wings are deployed or you know come out. They're already flapping and she's already at a tiny size but I remember doing concepts um, on the wings and wanting the top parts like this let's see if you can see it let's look at it here you know, one wanting the top parts like this to be like um, metallic uh, not metallic not just metallic but like that's the parts where the the, uh, the, the more flexible um, see-through wings to mimic a real insect um, wasp wing and then inside is all the machinery where they will be able to flap so there's a lot of thought put in these to these things that don't always do they turn don't always make it on screen but that's all part of the design process where the thinking goes it happens behind the scenes so that when you see the final result the audience doesn't have to think about those things and they could if they want but usually the people behind the scenes like myself the concept artist the people the the director the people creating these things and building they're thinking about the logic they're thinking about the function and the build and how it would work. There's always a point when, you know, we have to kind of just make things up. It's only a certain point where we have to think about the believability. As long as we get enough, and you know the audience will, or you hope, but you, you have a good sense that the audience will join you in that belief. So the work has to happen. Oh my God, what was that? Eee. Before. This is all scary stuff. Cause the wings turn. Ah. Ah. Oh, so scary. Cause I can't get it into this. Here we go. Come on. Go in. Oh, yes. I like when things snap on. Where's the... Where's her backpack? You guys see her backpack? Where's the piece that goes on top? I don't see. Oh, it's hiding. Black on black. Here we go. And the final piece that goes on top. All right. Oh, the bottom. Why isn't the bottom going in that? smoothly not fully in the bottom why who well the bottom kind of sticks out a little bit i'll show you what i mean it's not fully snapping in but overall look at that
Okay. This is amazing. It looks so awesome. Wow. I couldn't be happier. This thing is amazing. Look at this thing. Wow, this is pretty rad. Um, yeah, I couldn't be happier. Like, in all honesty, when I look at this, the, um, the one thing that looks a little different to me than what I concepted was, I think, the size of the wings. But that's always been a little unclear what the final, like how long they made these wings. But at least the way that I've always painted them or drawn them, I think I, I usually made them just a little shorter. So maybe till around this length, you know, so it would end here. I think that's kind of how I illustrated it usually. But, you know, this makes sense. These things are flapping, you know, and she's flying. Like they'd have to be pretty long. but. You know, the whole idea was that, you know, these wings would never work when she's life-size, human-size. It only works when she sh shrinks because the physics are different and these things flapping. Can, she's so light that uh, that's how she can fly. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm, oh, let's bring him out. Ant-Man, meet the wasp. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed opening it with you guys and I love seeing these new toys come to life um, after working, spending so much time working on the films with these characters. They're in my head and um, you know, I put so much thought, love, blood, sweat and tears into these things. So I hope you guys enjoy the films. I hope you enjoy, you enjoy these characters. We love making them and we're gonna continue making them. So um, until next time, um, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, all that YouTube stuff. All right, that's it. Take care.